Real quick and dirty, not a review, just a look um, at the present Neil editions from Folio Society. Um, I am hoping that we keep getting more. I'm really hoping that we get American Gods, as, a, as especially as a sneaky way to get more Pratchett. Give us more Pratchett. Give us more Terry Pratchett. That is my ask. And more Neil. <laughs> and more Neil. But um, also give us more Pratchett. Come on. Um, we need more Pratchett. You could do every Discworld book and they would sell. Come on. Let's... Someone get Rihanna on the phone and let's let's get this deal done. Um, this one, this this showed up this way. A uh, little bit of shipping damage. Doesn't bother me. The slipcase exists to protect the book. And the book is flawless, so therefore I believe the slipcase did its job. A lot of people will return this based on that. And, uh, or then have it replaced and then sell the damage. Yeah, nope. I am not that guy. That's what the slipcase's job is, to protect it. And the slipcase did a good job. So it's a great looking slipcase though, right? It's just wrapped print. Um, but, you know, the back of the slipcases don't always have anything on them. And this does, and I love it. Um... So yeah, here's American Gods. And then we'll go over, yeah. Um, but look at this, look at that, this is great. Uh, more Neil, give us more Neil. Give us more Neil, give us more Dave McKean. <laughs> give us more, um, give, us, give us Terry Pratchett illustrated by Dave McKean. Oh, I never considered that, but please. Um, give us Dirk Gently. Illustrated by Dave McKean. No one from Folio Society is watching this. Nobody cares. Um, uh, let's see here. This is printed on... Oh, this is the third printing. Interesting. Um, Abbey Woven Germany. That's what I thought. Yeah, so... Um, guide to all the illustrations, which... Uh, buddy, if you're not a Dave McKean fan, you're... You're wrong. And if you haven't read American Gods, you are similarly mistaken. Um, uh, but please give us good omens. Please give us good omens. Hopefully that's what I said a minute ago when I was bitching about wanting more Pratchett. I might have said American Gods again, but that's what's in my hand. And because I'm legally stupid, and this is not rehearsed, there's no script, I just pick books off the shelf as people ask me to talk about them in Discord, and uh, and off I go. So, look at that. Dave McKean, you twisted, twisted gentleman. Um, look at that. So, yeah. That is... Uh, that's American Gods. Uh, this one, there's there's some slight rubbing you'll notice. Um, it's because I've read this one, right? So my hand, my very uh, awkward and abused uh, from 25, 30 years of boxing, broken hands are not the most delicate with this stuff. This slipcase is super cool. It's very textured, like this down here has a texture to it. Um, and then, yeah, there's like some some parts of it that are... Uh, like a glossy, and then this hat is textured, but the band isn't. This is a really, really cool slipcase. Um, you know, I can understand, especially in a slipcase like this, people being a little upset because this is a piece of art, right? Um, if this is dinged up, but uh, as a general rule, it doesn't bother me. Its job is to protect the book. So this is that silky, silky material again. Um, I love this the end printing here. Um, uh, yeah, so Francis Vallejo. This is Octavian. Mm -mm. Um, Abbey Pure Rough in Germany. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to have to pull that out in a second and feel the difference between Pure Rough and Abbey Wove. Um, I've not read this, so I had just read this uh, for the, I think, the second time when Folio Society released their edition of it, so we've got a ribbon. Um, so I've not read this one yet, but uh, 
my um, my Neils, my Pratchett's, my Douglas Adamses. I probably pull all these off the shelf like once a month and just thumb through them because uh, because I love them. They are beautiful authors. My Le Guin's, my Ursula K. Le Guin's, um, who's probably the my I don't know probably. It would be a fight to the death between her and Terry Pratchett for my favorite author. Um, and I guess she won because she uh, lived longer, so I don't know. But look at that. How cool is that? How cool is that? So, yeah. Um, so we assumed that this was coming out when American Gods came out. Uh, this was very unexpected, at least by me, um, when Neverwhere was released. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Some gold highlights. Um, it's that same silky material, but with not a, not a sheeny print in all places. Um, kind of boring, bland end papers, but then you get this, right, which is cool. Um, introduced by Susanna Clark. I will admit I don't always read introductions, but I will absolutely read anything by Susanna Clark. So, um, mentor Abby Link's paper. Abby Link's I'm more familiar with, but not the Abby Pure Rough over here, so... Um, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. But this is definitely a whiter paper. Text is really popping on it. Um, you got some really cool chapter headers and, um, Oh man, I'm gonna have to read this again soon. Look at that, look at these chapter headers. Get, where, where's my camera? I keep forgetting I have a camera up and I'm just looking down at the stuff. Not rehearsed, y'all, not practiced. Not much of a point other than to appease Discord nerds who ask me to show these books off, so. Anyway, those are the three Neils. Hopefully we get more. Hopefully we get good omens. Maybe, uh, maybe Neil can, uh, flex some of his, uh, his, um, status as probably the greatest living fiction author and, uh, get us some Pratchett's. I know you got some ends with the estate, homie. Let's, uh, let's do it. We need more Pratchett's. We need more Neil's. Uh, I'll stop rambling. There's the books. Thanks.